there's not many series of games where I've played them all. Of course, you've got ones like Watch Dogs and Mafia, but those are only three games apiece. But then you've got series like Assassin's Creed, where there is tons of them, tons of different characters, different styles, different settings. And sadly, lately, they've really been on the decline. Either they've just not been good games, they've been too big, or they've just been the furthest things from Assassin's Creed games that you could imagine. But I decided to go back to a game that I played on release, I completed it within like three or four days and absolutely loved, but never got the Platinum. Now there's a remastered version, so I decided to get the Platinum on that one. And that, of course, is Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I remembered absolutely loving this game as a kid. I really did. But I wanted to go in without nostalgia clouding me. So I went in. And to be honest, a lot of it I didn't remember. So, like, I didn't remember the ending. I didn't remember the story. I just remembered certain aspects of the gameplay. Like the rope dart, the tomahawk, the bow. Just little things like that. You know, the free running in the trees. I just remembered little things like that that I loved when I was younger. Now, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered has 55 trophies, including the Platinum. Now, you have got about 45 of those are base game. And then you've got the DLC. DLC, the Tyranny of King Washington, which I had never, yet again, never touched when I was younger. The trophy guy gives us a 5 out of 10, so it'll take about 50 hours. If you do it in 50 hours, then fair play to you. It took me a lot, a lot longer than 50 hours. Admittedly, I wasn't very smart with how I used my time, but I loved every second of it, bar maybe a little bit that you'll see in the video. I decided to break this one down into four steps. Step one is to complete the story and get 100% sync in all main missions. Step two is to do all the side content, such as naval ships. Step three is to finish the in-game 100%, and then step four was to do the DLC. But honestly, I'm amazed at how well this game held up. I really didn't expect it to hold up this well. I, I thought there would be more issues. There definitely was. Definitely feels like there's more issues in the remastered than the original. Also, you may see at some points throughout this video that I'm quite red. It's because it's boiling in the UK at the minute, and I am not. I'm not built for the. <laughs> I'm not built for the heat, guys. Look at me. I'm not built for the heat. But either way, let's jump into it. All right, boys. Here we are, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. I loved Assassin's Creed 3 back in the day when I first got it, um, like when it first released, back back on the PS3. And I'm super excited. I played some terrible games lately, and I'm psyched to get into this. Also, I've just loaded it up, and I've just realized I also got Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered. Um, if you guys want to see that as well, I believe that's got a platinum, then feel free to let me know. But uh, I had no intention of doing it, and this video is going to be fully dedicated to Assassin's Creed 3. Oh yeah, well, we're leaving off where I left off in my Ezio so collection video. Seriously. After Desmond Maybe died. Or I think but he I died. Better to start at the beginning. Oh, maybe he didn't. Ah, uh, Altaya. Legend. That's the beauty and the horror of the Ezio, another legend. I'm so excited to play this game, I really am, and I didn't even realise until literally just a moment ago that we're we're picking up where I left off in the Ezio collection video, where I assumed Desmond was dead. I don't, I didn't remember him actually being alive in this game, and some of the comments were like, no, Desmond's final one is Assassin's Creed 3, which is pretty sweet. So here we are with Assassin's Creed 3, uh, see where Desmond left off. Synchronization um, first you. trophy on the board, boys. Re, rude awakening. Sorry, re-enter the animus. Here we go. Here I am. Time to find out what What's this guy's name? Hathaway. Hathaway, something like that. I never remember his name. I'm sorry. That's a lie. All right, we better get out of here because there's about to be a lady scream. I got a feeling. There we go. That guy just fell down the stairs. <laughs> Crazy, the more I play like these games, like I play the Ezio collection now, I'm playing this, and it's like, then Black Flag as well is amazing. There's like, what happened, dude? What happened to Ubisoft? I'm gonna get through this part of playing as Haytham. I'd rather the focus be on Connor, because he's one of my favorite characters in the Assassin's Creed series. So I got some of the story trophies, and then Connor was given his name, which is just a legendary moment. Same. What would you call me then? Connor. Yes, that will be your name. Right, we're finally playing as Connor. We've not got the legendary Connor outfit yet. Uh, it's pretty late at night, as you can tell by the webcam. Uh, but this game is just as good as I remember. Man, the combat feels good in this. I cannot wait to get the rest of Connor's proper gear. Oh, nice. Double. Oh. Oh, get 
absolutely wrecked. Oh god, I miss climbing the trees in these games, man. This was like... Oh, this was just something different when this came out, bro. I don't know if you guys like played this when it first dropped, but I remember first running through trees when I first got this game. Oh, what a feeling it was. Oh, I just couldn't get enough of it. Just felt so free, bro. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at him go, dude. Oh. Look at him. Brings a tear to my eye, seriously. Put them on. <gasps> Finally. I was wondering when it was we got the outfit. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. Yeah. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. <laughs> Damn, the Assassin Brotherhood's really falling apart. The day the Templars cried. <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, once we've done this, we're just going to quickly smash through the story with Connor. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm enjoying it and I'm going to take my time with it. Uh, but I don't want the whole video to be revolved around the story because I know that there's actually not that many story related trophies. I think I'm probably only going to end up with. Maybe like 18 trophies. If that, to be honest. So you got to the camp. Oh, what a numpty. Obviously didn't know that Desmond had those skills. Crisscross, complete present skyscraper. Nice. And you know me guys, I'm not a huge fan of tailing missions, but they're kinda of cool when you can like, you know, do this, you look you know, you feel a bit a bit cool, you know. I could follow him on the roof, but I ain't too bothered about that. Ow! What are you looking at, Harry? Rude. You not understand English? That it? Ow! Stop that, please. Goodness. Oh, you're obviously a bigger lad than I thought. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Cool. This is sweet. What? You are not alone. And we give a cry when you meet us. Forget about... Oh, they cut the wire. They cut the rope. Need to start picking. Go. We're gonna focus on saving the bodyguards. Slow motion. Get back here. Ah! Tackled him. I didn't really need to tackle him. Boom. So. Oh. Caged Wolf, complete sequence eight. So I think there's 12 in total. So I ended up getting a bunch more story trophies and we finally got to see Desmond effortlessly control the apple, which I just thought was so cool. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait, no! Oh, you hit me. <laughs> Assassinate Charles Lee. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Damn, Connor is weak, dude. Oh, 
this is actually such a unique fight, I feel like, for an Assassin's Creed game. <clears throat> Like, Connor's, like, weak. He hasn't really got much left to give. But, using the surroundings. That's why the Templars will never be destroyed. Homeboy forgot I've got a hidden blade. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Straight through the throat. Look at that. That's why the Templars fall, though. Their own arrogance. Difficult end. Complete sequence 11. Oh, yeah, this is where he shaved. I was kept wondering why I remember him having this haircut. And that's why, because he shaves it at the end. <laughs> Look who's, I told you. I told you. What was it, nine years ago, maybe? Ten years ago? I told you I would come for you. Forever. forever. Oh, we both took some pretty nasty damage there. Oh, my leg looks trapped. And there's a stick for me. You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. Oh, it's not over yet, Charles you boy. You so hard, but it always ends. Because no one else will. Oh! Good stuff, Connor. Let's go, my guy. I don't remember the ending. Lee probably gets away. Of, yeah, I remember this. I remember it. It's just come to me now. Oh, I think this is such a great ending for an Assassin's Creed game. There's nothing. It's not an epic battle of, you know, an epic, epic ending battle. Just both really injured. And just a slow lean in. The sum of truth. Complete sequence 12. Something just come back to me. This isn't the one where they give him a choice. And it's either he can die and save the world. Or he can live. And the world gets destroyed. But some, uh, you know, a few people live. He ends up being looked at as like a Jesus character. He dies anyways. And the world just goes in this constant cycle if he lives. If he dies, he saves the world forever. You know our story Something's now. in the back of my head telling me that. Of how we tried. I don't know why. Of how we... Man, the Desmond storyline is just incredible. What happened to the Assassin's Creed games, dude? This, from Assassin's Creed 1 to now, what a crazy Desmond story we followed. And that's it. He saved the world. No good deed goes unpunished. Open the temple door and learn Desmond's fate. Oh, there we go. Finn. Complete each of the epilogue missions after you... After the credits roll. I'm stuck. Oh, no way, dude. I... This is the problem. I, I, I mean, I love this game, but this is the problem with old Assassin's Creed. Sometimes you just get stuck and just nothing will happen. And it makes me want to snap my console in half. Let's go. That should be it. Success, success, success. Boom. Give me my trophy. Where is it? There we go. Perfectionist. Complete 100% of all main mission.
So with that incredible story done and having 100% sync on all the main missions, it's only gone to the side missions slash side content for the game. Part of me was excited for this and part of me was dreading it. You have a couple of fun ones like the mystery of Oak Island as well as Fort Walcott as well as all the districts in one area, which are super fun to do in my opinion. But then you have things like the privateer contracts, the naval missions, as well as a few other things. And honestly, I was dreading the naval stuff. Like, I loved it in Black Flag, but in this game, I remember not liking it. And I still, I'm, I'm like, I'm okay, like I can do it. But I don't know, it just, it, it just didn't click with it. Um, Still, it, it's great, but yeah, for me, it's just not something that I enjoyed too much. It was fun, but I couldn't wait to be back on, <laughs> back on land. Let's go. Teamwork, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You don't. End up now, baby. Let's go. He's dead. He's dead. There we go. We got it. <laughs> That's fun. And there we go. Man of the people. Liberate all districts in Boston or New York. So now there's a lot for me to do. Uh, for you guys, it'll be a few seconds. For me, I've got a feeling it's going to be quite a few hours. Yeah, I know that it's relatively what you would consider like a, a grind when it comes to missions. But the game's tons of fun. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty looking forward to it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a mo. So I got a few random trophies as I was trying to make money. So I could level up the ships and make the naval missions easier on myself. So I've done quite a bit between when you last saw me and now. I got a few trophies along the way as well. Just like stuff for the homestead as well as a few other bits. And we're actually on to what should be the last uh, privateer contract. There's 12 of them but then there's like three extras and then there's also another one. But some of them, oh my god, some of these missions have been so difficult boys. I tell you that right now. Trying to get the 100% sync, because you have to get the 100% sync for the 100% trophy. And oh my goodness me, it's some of them have been a right mare. I have upgraded the ship a little bit as well, just to help with some of these missions. Uh, I've also, you know, been like doing two birds, one stone. I've been killing a lot of things. Um been destroying a lot i've been doing a lot like i've been getting my assassins leveled up oh my god look at the size of that wave wave take cover hit him let's go boys i didn't get the 100 percent sync but that's fine i can always go back and do that a bit later that one was pretty challenging man i need the boat to be much better and there we go entrepreneur not pirate Oh, let's go. It's not even a... We are going to pretend that didn't happen. Oh, whoa, look. It's a non-boat mission. We're just... I didn't know this. How would they not hear this? We are oh, shh. I, need not remind you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really do. I feel so cool. Oh, I'm nuts! Oh, that was so saucy. God damn it, I love this game. I need to get to the Aquila. Yeah, I know, Connor. I'm looking for where to go because I can't see Neil Poir. Go. No, Connor, please just. Connor, please. I know it's like an Assassin's Creed meme that you don't know where you're going half the time, but please help the brother out. Oh, slow mo. Thank you very much, brother. You're late, Captain. Those occupants. Damn, I like Connor, man. He's such a sick character. And there we go. Bring down the house. Explore Fort Walcott. So while I earned money to level up the ship, I got some of the side mission trophies and a few really cool combat trophies as well by accident just while playing the game. As well as just a few other random trophies that I really didn't mean to get. And then I got this one that I thought was going to be really difficult, Eyewitness, which is to watch a predator kill, witness a predator killing an enemy, as you can see there, which I didn't even get to see it. The confusion. 
as you can see. So now I've finished literally the final mission on the boat. I've got a ton of trophies. So I've been going for the 100% at the same time, like kind of two birds, one stone thing, because I've been needing to earn money for, um, to upgrade the boat. So we're now going to go and do this one, Oak Island. This is its own trophy. Uh, and then that will be all what I would class as the side mission stuff done. While I have done a lot in this step, I just needed to have a break from the naval stuff, man. It was absolutely just, oh, oh yeah, I'm just not very good. I wasn't having a great time with it. So these have actually been like super fun to do. I've, I've really, really enjoyed these. That is it. Let's go, let's go, let's get out of here, Connor. Absolutely book it, mate. Get under there, don't run under there. Don't just slide and don't just slowly walk under there, please. Whoa. I do not know how it works, but I now understand why Kid valued it so. I have the force. And there we go. Kid gloves. Uncover the mystery of Oak Island. So with all the side missions done, and accidentally doing a massive bulk of the miscellaneous trophies, which I didn't mean to do, I was, I just didn't expect that to be honest. It was time to finish the in-game 100% as well as do the encyclopedia of the common man. If you guys have done those two trophies, you know how long and time consuming they can be. And yeah, they were pretty time consuming. So this we're up to for the 100%, 90%, we're pretty close. As you can see, story completely done. Side missions, I've got to do the challenges for all of the clubs and that'll be pretty much be those done as well as getting my team, as in my team of assassins, to level master assassin. I've done one of them so far, I've got five more to go. For discovery, we've done the collectibles and all the forts and stuff like that. I've still got to do the underground as well as the citizen missions, which should be pretty fun because you've got things like assassin contracts, courier missions, and delivery requests. Naval is pretty much 100%. I've just got to do two more missions and clean up 100% sync on a couple that I didn't do. And then Homestead, I've got a bunch of missions to do, but these are actually pretty quick and honestly quite fun. I'll be trying to get all of the random, what I would class as cleanup trophies at the same time because there's really like two or three left for me to do, so I may as well not make that its own step. I may as well just get them while doing this. The one thing I should be able to do, just thinking about it, I have to get all of the, I have to craft all of these for the 100%, but this should be a trophy. Pattern, not pen, and craft one of Franklin's inventions to decorate your manor. So I've got to do them all for the 100%. There's a trophy I want to quickly try and get, and I think this might be the ideal place. So if I do this, and then if I do... Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Thank you. My goodness. That's a pretty cool one. That's spit roast, and that's perform a double assassination using a musket. And I saw it was an opportunity to pick them up. Just thought, let's see if I could get it there. Sorry, what? Fight! You know, Connor is just like, all right, equal, equal rights and equal lefts, you know? I don't care. I'm I'm here to win, you know. Shake it off. I'm here to win. I'm gonna start dishing out the spin kicks. Oh what? Ah. What? Okay. There's two of them now. Okay. Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit. Seems like the rules are not very regulated in this sport. Shake it off. Oh. Dance with the best, all like the rest. We have a new champion! Yeah! We won! And there we go, in good standing, complete all challenges for any of the clubs. I have to say really quickly, this is without a doubt the worst part of the entire Platinum experience. These Doing these undergrounds is so boring. If you've got the Platinum or you've done the 100% of the game, then you'll know the pain. There is very little fun about this. The rest of the game, absolutely fantastic. I've loved every second of it. But this is so horrendously boring that I've just got YouTube videos on the background. Uh, yeah, it sucks. This is the one part I will say, hands down, this sucks. Doing this sucks. Okay, so I've been doing the Encyclopedia of the Common Man trophy to 
pretty much scan all the people at the home students taking ages this might be the last one i'm not entirely sure i hope that one i've already done um I think this is it, boys. Let's go! Complete the encyclopedia of the common man. Should be this guy. And there we go. Completionist. Complete... Oh, that, that was as simple as that. Complete all progress tracker grid entries. And there we go. But as you saw, I've got 100% of the game. We've done the Encyclopedia of the Common Man. We've still got 20% left to do, and that is because we've got the DLC. And now, this is something I have never done. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to expect. But I am, again, I'm excited to get into it. With the base game completely finished and all of that miscellaneous stuff done, it was time to move on to the DLC, which is the Tyranny of King Washington. Never played it, never seen it, didn't even know the game had a DLC, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I tell you what, a fantastic story for, the, for a DLC, fantastic, broken into three episodes. I absolutely loved it, but boy was I confused. Oh my god, is that Connor's mom? Come on, Galen, rise, we must go. Mother, what are you doing here? And I have brought down his wrath upon my own. This is confusing me, bro. Understand. None of it fits. Keep Our... villagers. I like how they've made it like as Connor well. is like us. We're like us, the player, and Connor are both confused as each other. Like, what? what is happening? Only my father left those for me. Ah, hidden blades. Oh. Uniquely familiar. Receive an unexpected gift. Oh, but look, it's not the assassin Run, tomahawk, the it's the other tomahawk. So Ponder's just like fighting to the death here. Oh, that's not fair. Oh my god, look at that, just fighting to the end of time. This is pretty epic. Are we fighting? Or what? Ah, damn it. Yep. What? Give that here. For good measure. Shot three times and stabbed straight through the stomach. Okay, looks like we've got some side missions there as well. Main missions. Frontier. Oh, some new treasures and stuff. And you do have to get 100% in sync as well, which is fine. Okay, I'm quite excited to get into this, to be honest. I love the snow in this game as well. Looks so damn cool. So I quickly finished the first two episodes, as well as 100%ing the first two areas. And I also got the three miscellaneous trophy for each of the new skills you unlock. All in all, this DLC was tons of fun. There he is. I've actually quite enjoyed this story, to be honest. One thing I will say, though, it has been horrendously buggy. So, I had to actually Google it. It was so buggy. Uh, and apparently, the remastered is far more buggy than the original. And somehow, there's even been new bugs, like, put in. Not, not intentionally, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I, it's definitely been a less enjoyable experience in this DLC because it has been so buggy, which is a huge shame. But it is what it is. Jesus, you want to calm down, don't you? Use animal powers to fight Washington. Oh, Duke. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. Oh, oh, oh. Boom, boom, boom. I will end you for all you've done. That's it, Connor. Peace him up. Oh. 
Good stuff, Connor. Ooh, unlucky Washington. Oh, just speared him off the edge. And first in the hearts, defeat George Washington. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that... Oh, I'm back to where I am. Ah. Do we ever find out how Connor dies? Did he just die, die of old age? I wonder. Did he just die of old age? There we go. If I can make it there, reach 100% synchronization in New York and... There we go, Master Assassin. Well, this game, this Platinum, was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. It took me over 75 hours, which is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. This is Platinum 124, but I have to say, it took a lot longer because I had to take a break during it because I, I had some family stuff going on. But I absolutely loved it. I really did. I, I, I honestly can say, hand on my heart, this was fantastic. It's great to play a good game. You know, I, I like to do games that I think are going to be fun bad. Some games that maybe you guys wouldn't have seen because they're, you know, a bit like uh, the Gollum game. By the way, thank you for supporting that video. I thought that would be fun bad. Turns out it was horrendous, so I said to my Myself, you know what I'm gonna do some good games and I remember Assassin's Creed 3 being great and it was it was absolutely fantastic a bigger platinum than I thought I definitely um, didn't think it I thought it was only gonna take like three to four days but uh, yeah I started it on the 12th and finished it on the 21st so about nine days it actually took I actually <laughs> I was able to platinum the Ezio collection all three games quicker than I was able to platinum this admittedly I wasn't as uh, as good at multitasking in this game as, as I could have been but it is what it is I loved it and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. We've just passed 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me. So thank you for all the support. Honestly, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of good games coming. I've got a couple of games coming that are very highly rated that I've never played before. I've got a few others that, you know, maybe not too good, but, uh, you know, I finally want to get off the list. But yeah, um, I'm excited. And as always, I really enjoyed this one. And I hope you guys did too. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.